everyone, welcome back to PJ's CAT class. In this video, you're going to learn how to make a cross ring. The command we are going to use today uh, is curve tool that allowed us to make the curve for the cross. We'll trim all the extra to make sure it is a closed curve. Then we will extrude those curves to become a solid cross. After that, we'll create the UV curve from the ring, and then we'll flow the cross to the ring. We are going to end up with sweep one rail to finish up the ring. Let's get started. It is important to find out what ring size you wanted to start with. The easy way is go to Mr. Google and type it ring size chart. By seeing all this image, you will find all kinds of a chart. In the USA, we are going to use a USA size. Starting with size 7 is equal diameter for 17.3 mm. So we are going to use this as a reference and go to Rhino to start our ring. Always draw your ring at front view. We're gonna use the curve tool to make a circle, starting always on the 0, 0 axis, and on the diameter, I want to type it 17.3. So that allows us to have exactly size 7 ring. I want to decide how big of the area I wanted to have for the cross. So I'm going to draw a curve right here and mirror this curve to the other side to get it really symmetrical. And using those two stray to trim the rest of it. So this is the area that we need. I don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Looking at the perspective view now, we're going to extrude it into this curve into a surface. So I'm going to go to the menu bar surface. Under the surface you have extruded curve and then you have straight. It allows you to go either one side or in our case we want a both sides equal yes on the command bar. Right here on the command bar I want to type it 6 and hit enter. So that gives us a total distance from one, this corner to that corner for 12. And I'm going to turn it back to the ghost view. Okay. The next comment we are going to use, we need to have these things flat so we can draw on it. Going under the curve, you have the curve tool, curve from the object, and then you have the create UV curve. It will ask you which surface you want to create. This will be the surface and when you click it will flatten this surface into a curve. Show you the boundary of it. And we are going to use this curve to draw our cross. So I'm going to go to the top view. This is the area we are going to do our design. I'm going to do a simple one by make sure the grid snap is on. I want to snap in on the grid. And then I want to move it up here for 4. And I'm going to do the, the other side. You can do again any size you want. Here is just a simple one. So after that, you want to pick on all the curve and hit the trim command and just trim it off anywhere that you don't want it. Okay, While it is selected, go ahead and join them. Now I have this cross. I want to see what the interior is going to be. In this case, I'm going to go for one millimeter in. So I, the command you're going to use is offset curve. So we're going to go in and right here at the distance, type it 1. So we have another cross.
across as an interior. Let's take a look on the perspective view. Oops. This is the perspective view. If you pick up the curve and you go to the solid extruded plane and curve straight, you will only get a very solid one. However, we want to pick up both of them and we do the same command, go to the solid extruded planar curve straight and we don't need both sides, we just need one side. It will create the interior for you. I would like it to have a thickness about 1.5 millimeter. So I type in 1.5 and hit enter. Then I get the cross there. Next step is to get this cross, get on this surface. To do that, we need to give a reference surface. So I'm going to use this curve and go into the surface tool. You have the second one called surface from planar curve. As soon as you click on it, it will become a surface. Next step, we'll go to the transform. You have flow along surface. I mean, I want to flow this object to this surface. Okay, so the object to flow will click on this cross, hit enter, and they want to pick on one of the corner, which is the base surface, which is the surface underneath it, the cross. Then the command bar is asking you where's the target surface. We want to pick up on the corner as well. Now your cross is flow to this surface. I want to go back to the front view and recreate my circle. It was, right now remember what we did last time is 17.3 and that's what I needed. Now I have the cross on the ring. I no longer need the original so I did it those. To finish the ring, we need to make the shank uh, with the same profile we have here. So I'm going to type it D-U-P-E, that's duplicate H. It's going to duplicate this H and also on the other side for this H's. While they are selected, let's go ahead and join them. All right. So let's use the command for sweep one is living under the surface sweep one this is going to be the rail and this curve will be the cross section uh, make sure they are all lined up and we hit ok then we have this ring let's go ahead uh, balling them together so now just double check they become a single close poly surface okay to make it really nice on the rendering we want to fillet the edges let's do something small uh, point two and I want to pick up every single age on this model so now it looks nice and round let's check on the render view everything is a nice and round so here it is our cross ring. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I'll see you soon in my next video. For more video, you can find at pjchandesign.com. See you around.